Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are back with Captain Krautman and the crew U48. And so, at some point, I'm going to actually figure out how to get Krautman, the captain, off of this observation periscope and back onto the uh, targeting periscope so he can do the, uh, the dirty work of lining everything up and all that good stuff. Uh, but for now, um, our mission right now is twofold. Primary mission is to lay the mines in the Strait of Gibraltar. Uh, we have a full... That's new. Ah, huh. that's interesting. I've never seen that before. A number over the, uh, soup. It's soup number 69. Good soup. Very good soup. But like I was saying, our primary mission is to lay the mines. Secondary mission is uh, <clears throat> one that I've picked myself. Uh, we are going to try and get rid of some of our torpedoes. Contraband. Lack of discipline. So, what we have here is a group of one, group of one, group of one to three. Uh, right now we have three or four torpedoes in our bow tubes and one in our stern tubes. I'm going to get rid of all four of them uh, so we can start laying the mines. Um, I think this is where our objective is. Plant the mines at the Strait of Gibraltar. So, uh, we do have a lot of... A lot of British, uh, contacts. I'm assuming it's British. Allied. We'll go with Allied. A lot of Allied contacts as we sit at Periscope Depth. I want you on the command station. I want you on... Oh, on the attack periscope. There we go. Finally figured it out. So I'm going to try and get rid of uh, the torpedoes by attacking whatever happens to be in this area. Um, this may be a uh, interesting endeavor, since I've kind of shied away from trying to attack uh, warships in the past. Uh, no doubt these are all warships patrolling these waters and there's a lot of them there's a lot more than just this group here there's one behind us one behind us at about 13 miles uh, the ones in front of us seven miles and I'm not even entirely sure what direction these guys are heading Uh, it does kind of look like they're heading right at us, so... I'm going to try and get out uh, into a better position to attack here. Um, we're going as fast as we can. So, let's see if we can see anything just yet. They're... It's, it's dark, so... Seeing smoke on the horizon might not happen at this distance. If it turns out they're merchants, then that's even better, but I seriously doubt they're merchants. Oh, there we go, right there. That looks like smoke right there. Yep. Can't lock onto it just yet, so uh, I'm gonna get into position. The crew is going to uh, fire off the first of our torpedoes. Um, I'm gonna go with one uh, one torpedo per ship. That'll get rid of all four uh, torpedoes that we have in our uh, bow tubes, which will allow us to load the mines. 
So I haven't figured out if I could take them out of the um, out of the tubes and put them into storage. So we'll just shoot them and go from there. Okay, so right off the bat, we have uh, we've got a destroyer and we've got a Corvette. Um, I'm gonna go with this is the Caldwell class. I'm not entirely sure if I can get an accurate velocity reading, but it'd probably be a good bet to say they're going 13, <laughs> just because seems like they all go 13. 31, wow. That's not right. That can't be right. <laughs> but we are in reverse right now. Uh, I'll show you in a second here. Five miles. They're five miles from us right now. It's going to be a, a tough sell hitting both of these guys. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try here. We are going to pass pretty close to this destroyer, so I'm going to have to really time it to where we can uh, shoot at this Corvette first probably be a, probably could get a better uh, speed estimate on this guy now let's give it a shot whoops he doesn't look like he's going very fast I'm going to have to fire on the smaller ship first. He's uh, definitely further away. 12, 12 knots. Maybe we can get a better... Yeah, looks like we're going to be able to get a better... Come on, lock. Thank you. Get a better uh, velocity on him now. Whoops. Nope. Alright, we'll try again. <laughs> We're gonna be pretty freaking close to this guy. Might not even be able to fire on the, uh... On the Corvette. God damn it. Misclick. What happens when you put in an 11 hour day holding a steering wheel? Hands get all crampy. Uh, it's probably a little bit off. It says he's going 27 knots. I don't know if I believe that. I can't be right. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to fire on the destroyer first. Cause he's he's lagging behind. So he may actually be doing the the speed that the uh the thing says he is. Uh We are constantly moving away from them, so. Eighty five.
You could probably slow down a little bit. Come to a stop. Really wanted to take a shot at that Corvette first. It says 93. Four miles for that. Nope. Nope. He has fallen pretty far behind. We're looking two and a half miles for him. Eighty six to the right. Here we go. Now we should be able to get a really good speed. He's hauling ass. I could let him pass and then shoot at the, uh... Shoot at the, uh... Corvette. Then I'd have to deal with him. I think he'd probably have more depth charges. 2.9 miles. 86. Two tubes loaded. This is going to be off. Yeah, this is going to be off. And I'm losing my time here. Ninety-two. Get that speed up there. Uh, Los! All right, first two away. Okay, stop reloading. Stop reloading. I want you to reload. We do have to get down and go. We're gonna turn to the left. Start moving. All right, can't tell if these are looking good or not. But we're going to go down pretty deep. Oh my. 37 meters. That's all we have to work with? Shit. Pedro is on the halfway point to the goal. 
Okay, well, it's time to come up to about 17 meters. How is it only 37 meters? This first torpedo actually looks pretty good. There we go. D95 sunk. Caldwell class sunk. The other torpedo went way the hell off. Alright, so we got ourselves a destroyer. No doubt everybody is coming, uh... Now, why did they switch? See this? They switched. I don't want you on the attack periscope. Go to the navigator station. Ugh. <sighs> Now everybody in the area is going to come looking for us. Right, let's get rid of all this. We even moving. Let's take a look. Whoa. Contains 15x cheese. What the hell? Yeah, I know. The second one missed. Where am I? That's the destroyer. Oh, alright. It's not looking like I have a whole lot of uh, depth here to work with. That might be it. Slow down a little bit. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Zu Befehl. I wonder if I launched a down the throat shot at this guy with my stern tubes. Unfortunately, I can't. I just launch. Fortunately, I can't just launch. Maybe I could. So what would this be if it was... Launched from here. Here. Would it be zero? I mean, I could do this. I think if I was going to launch a stern attack, I probably should have done it by now. Trying to find some deeper water to go to. Oh, 
turn this way. Alright, so we got the destroyer down. May have to launch a... Launch my stern tube at him. He comes out here. See, that's the thing is I don't know how... Like, if, if you can figure the... The angle on bow when you're firing a stern shot, is it all reversed? doing he's barely moving and he's picking up survivors tiny thing I, I want to check here Why can I not? There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Better not be loading that tube there. Okay, so we load two of these. Looks like he's heading away from us. How far away is he? a little bit. Gonna turn the other way. He's circling. Yeah, he's circling back this way. It would be good to move up out of here pretty quick. Not going to mess with this little guy right now. But they definitely know we're here. You know, obviously I'm sinking their ships. And we've got a group of one over here. So we'd be kind of curious to know what this is. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to come around like this. And possibly put two more uh, torpedoes in the water. I don't know. Though. We got quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of traffic coming our way. 
Okay, so we are roughly in the same position that we were the last time with the uh, last destroyer. We're going to be about probably two and a half miles out when we launch. Um, the tribal class. We're in a really good spot to hit him. Take another speed and distance check. Readjust the course to what it was. I think 9-2 was about where it was the last time. He's he's moving pretty fast. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Distance. Three point one miles. Worse. Nine two. Double check that. Oh my God! What happened? Why are we turning? Come on. Okay. All right. All right, Krautman. You just you just completely botched this attack. You just completely botched this attack. All right, turn. Oh. Guess we're doing the uh, stern tube thing. That's gonna have to be fast too. I guess we're about to find out if uh But he would be going to the left now. 9-2. Go Six now. Pull this out a little bit. A couple last minute adjustments. Slow down. Nine seven. Love the open Bebesan Turn tube Open Bebesan and fire. Close. We actually fired our bow tube, even though the angle was out of range. Turn tubes are away. These are both gonna miss by a hundred miles. Holy shit. Okay, so you guys that know how to play this game, that know all this stuff, when firing a stern tube, uh, how exactly does that work? Go down to, uh, down to about 20 meters. Cause these are going nowhere. I had nowhere fast. Well, at least we're getting rid of our torpedoes, right? I could always just shoot it off. I mean, why not? It sure sounds like we just ran into something too. Yeah, let's go 16 meters. 
Make sure we're not scraping the bottom. We probably just did. Al Bundy is Captain U48. Right, start moving. I'm just gonna come over here. We don't have our mines loaded yet. Kind of irritating. We're not broaching. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Half the distance to what? Be funny if we hit something. Man, that was a botch. That was a massive botch. He doesn't even know we're here. that other one? Oh my god, they're converging. Ha! We should just get out of here. That thing's kind of calm down a little bit. We have more depth. Got a lot of depth here. We head out this way, there is. Bestätigt. <sighs> Well, if anything, it'll throw off their sonar. Uh, so U-48's gonna head off to deeper waters for now. So we get our mines loaded. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Uh, nah, I don't think so, bud. But we're gonna head off to deeper waters. I'll let these guys do what they want. 30 Sekunden. Then we're gonna try and come back around and lay our mines. At least we sank one of the ships we were shooting at. 20 seconds. Yeah, it looks like we're uh, polishing our mines before we load them. I'm all right with that, but I just like to get the damn things into the uh, into the tubes. Um, have been moving around. They're kind of sitting down in this area here. Uh, I did leave one <clears throat> one torpedo in my tube. Just to uh, see, you know, if we need it. Like for one of these guys, we have it. So, um, most thinking it might not be a bad idea. I don't think we're that far out from these guys, or we're seven miles. Yeah, what? I'm gonna turn on the ventilation. But we are loading the mines, which is a good thing. Kinda worried that they weren't actually gonna load them. But they are moving them into their into the tubes. So. bed at a maximum depth of 30 meters. Alright. So, we're gonna get our mines loaded, we're gonna get to the area, and uh, plant them, and maybe take out, or try and take out one more destroyer before we leave. Alright, so we almost reached our destination here. They are around me something fierce. Alright, so come to a stop. I have to plant 18 mines? I don't think I brought 18 mines. Maybe I brought too many. Oh, that's times three, so three, six, nine. Okay. Woo! Scared me there for a second, so we're launching our mines. Hopefully the destroyers can't hear me launching mines. But 
Your ship shouldn't be stationary while launching mine. Okay. Go backwards. So müde. Oh, quit your bitching. Meanwhile, everyone's sleeping. Launch mines. Maybe the destroyers will run into a uh, mine launching complete. Want some more? We have them. Why not? Launching complete. We should be good. Mine's not loaded. <laughs> Load mines, damn it. Well, let's move these. I don't think we're going to need them. There's 12 of 18. Hey man, wake hey, up. Go load those mines. Here. Wake up, guys. Torpedo tubes. There you go. Go load those damn mines. We are too far. Just kind of angle off that way so we don't accidentally hit these mines. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'd rather not find out. Enemy destroyer at the 1 o'clock hour. Launch mines and go backwards. Mine launching complete. More mines. Hey, there we go. New objective. Leave area. Okay. What do we have? We've got mines. We could still launch some mines. I wonder if I could launch extra mines. I don't think I can. All right, well, we got to leave the area. Let's do that. Our batteries are almost dead. Uh, how far out is this guy? Five miles. Still night. Um, I go deck a wash here. Charge our batteries. Go this way instead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything around us that we really have to worry about, but just do a quick quick check here. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor! Oh. out there. Ooh, he's kind of close. Want a lock on him. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf. There we go. Ein Uhr. I think he's only got one stack. Maybe he has two. 
Might be this guy. Yeah, he's got two. battery capacity is increasing so that's that's a good thing Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen We're almost completely on the surface Oh we are completely on the surface All right well Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close to land here. Well, good thing it's nighttime. We got destroyers out here, out here, out here. We got to get out of here. That's the mission. I don't think there's anything in front of us right now. Okay. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf 10 Uhr. Alright, stop. I don't want to go to Periscope Depth. Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Uh, reverse. Let's throw her in reverse. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Be all right taking out another destroyer before we leave. Not at 900 meters. Oh. Now she is turning. I went the wrong way. Did. <laughs> Whoop. I'm compression. I'm compression went nuts. Oh. And this guy is is and kind of heading right at me. Not good. Uh. Oh, I'm not liking that. Schneller, schneller. Zu Befehl. We're moving around too much. Hard to shoot at them when they do that. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Our mission's been accomplished, and my evil attempts to shoot a stern tube just kind of showed me that I'm putting my lives, the lives of my crew, at jeopardy by doing this. So these guys are really close. Not liking that. Three miles. 
Do I even have anything in the stern tubes? Rival. Here, we'll just put in a bunch of generic stuff. Because I want to see... I do have a stern tube. No kidding. Maybe we should actually find the, uh... Find the info out from this guy. He doesn't look like he's moving fast at all. Time for some redemption with our stern tubes, maybe? fast. Four miles. He is turning, though. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Bestätigt. Impatient. Pull down. Come on, shut up. What to do? Not at a bad angle to attack. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. I don't. I, I, Herr Kaloy. We just have to get out. <laughs> we just have to get out. And eight. And he's changing course too, so you know what? I'm not doing this. Oh. Schneller, schneller. Let's go. Auf diese we accomplished our mission. Bestätigt. That's must have been very, very, very painful to watch. So, like I'm always saying, tips and advice go in the comments section only help me become a better player so you 48 is going to get out of here and uh hopefully get back to uh la rochelle in one piece melde mich zum dienst in dienst Welcome home, U-48. Did a good job. Gustav Seitz gets the U-Boat War Badge for completing uh, two war patrols. Good job, Gustav. 
uh, gains points towards the next decoration, which is Iron Cross Second Class. Eight war patrols for uh, Ernst Prine. German Cross in gold. Captain Krautman gains points towards his next decoration. And we sunk a tanker and the G95 destroyer. So, what was that? You've mined the predetermined coordinates at the Strait of Gibraltar. It's a credit to the command that everything happened as expected. All right. Our intel tells us that the ship had a gross registered tonnage of 9,293 tons and was transporting oil from Gibraltar to Liverpool. And we sunk this destroyer. So, U-48 is now back in port. Our batteries are still close to depletion for some reason. Uh, we did take a little bit of damage. I was um, trying to charge my batteries in maximum time compression, and uh, I think a plane dropped a bomb on me. Let's uh, see if we can find out what this damage is here. Uh, oh, we can't go to the command station. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till uh, wait till we pick our next mission to um, fix our damages. But anyway, that's the mine laying mission. It was a little a uh, little more hectic than what I was expecting. Probably didn't have to uh, engage those destroyers, but I did anyway, and we got one of them down. So. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below, particularly about launching out the stern tubes and angle on bow and all that. Um, leave those tips in the comments below. If you want to follow along through Season 2 with Captain Fritz Krautman and his crew on U-48, it's now September 12th, 1940. Hit the subscribe and you can come along with us. We'll see you for episode number 8. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.